Well, Matthew, Matt, uh, could you uh, talk about how happy you are to split this series against the Braves? Well, after the first two, I'm, you know, I'm proud of the guys for staying in there and battling. So we've talked about it many times. You have to have a short memory. So after the first two, uh, got two, two real good pitching performances, and the guys battled there, get some runs, and played good defense and executed. So that's what we'll have to do to continue to win games. It seemed like Tanner, again, maybe wasn't as crisp or as, as sharp as he would have liked, but he still gave up just the one run. I mean, he doesn't really seem to have any duds, even when he's not at his best. It right. seems like he's still pretty good for you guys. Just all those weapons, you know, the, the, the ability, like he did last time out, not this time, but last time, couldn't find his fastball, he went to his curveball. He's got the ability to change on the fly out there and find something that he can throw for strikes so it's working for him. Same case today, you know, it wasn't, he wasn't throwing it exactly where he wanted to, but he was able to work through it. He wanted to stay in the game when I went and got him. Wasn't happy about that, but he had two really long innings back to back, so it was a good opportunity to get Stammer in there. In the fourth and fifth innings, he had pitches that pitch tracks said should have ended the innings, called third strikes. Regardless of whether they were good pitches or not, he had to throw a lot of extra pitches. Yeah. Is that a lot of moxie or something to get out of back-to-back -back innings when you can blame somebody else or look for an excuse? Well, well he's just, again, he's just going to, he focuses on the next pitch, regardless of the call or regardless of whether he had thought it was a strike or any of that, he's focused on the next one. And that's, I mean, that's, a very good trait to have as a pitcher, for sure, because it doesn't affect him one. You guys went on a stretch a couple of weeks ago where maybe scoring six, seven runs a night, and maybe the last week it hasn't been quite that. But the fact that you were getting two or three big hits a night at the, yeah. at the right time, how encouraging is that? Well, we want to create those opportunities. We've been talking about it all year, right? So the, the, create the opportunities and, and then deliver on on it. And in the last two days, we've done that really well. Um, last night and certainly today, base hits with the guys on second base. And that's, that's you you add one at a time and it it gives you an opportunity to win the game. Is there and, something about better approach in those situations? No, not solve? necessarily. Not necessarily. It's, uh, again, it's, it's staying with the same one. Uh, it's easy to get away from it and say, boy, I can get us two here with a two-run homer. When in fact, you know, the, to keep the line moving and get the single with the guy on second base is even more important. Um, because eventually, if you do that, then that hang and breaking ball becomes two run homers sometimes, if you have that right approach. And I think the last couple of days they've done it really well. How impressive were uh, Clipper and Soriano coming in and basically doing it just like you drew it up? Well, I, you know, Clip has some history with these guys. Uh, there's some there's some decent numbers there, uh, especially for the guys that he was going to face. Uh, but he did a nice job of mixing in uh, the curveball today, certainly fastball where he wanted it, and uh, and got through that inning relatively easy, which is encouraging for him. Um, the bullpen's been pretty beat up, so to keep pitch counts down is important too. The previous time Clipper pitched against him in this series, he threw more break, more curveballs. Um, does that, of course, it gives him a better look, but does it also allay some fears that they might have been picking up pitches after they scored off him in like 10 out of 11 appearances in a row? No, I, you know, I don't. I, I don't buy too much into that. I, I think that if he throws the ball where he wants to throw it, he's got a chance to get him out. They're really good hitters, though, and they have they've seen him a lot. So you know, you 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 understand what the changeup looks like out of his hand, what the fastball looks like in the split, and. The more you face a guy, the, the, the e not the easier it becomes, but the more comfortable you become at the play. So, you know, I don't think he's tipping anything. I don't. But now they got another one to look for. Well, I mean, it's it, the, the ability to throw for strike is key for him, regardless of whether it's the Braves or anybody else. You didn't put much significance on losing the first two games of this series to them. What type of significance do you put on winning the last two, just in terms of maybe quieting some of the questions or maybe any doubts that might have been creeping into anyone's mind or anything of that nature? Well, I'm, I've been around the game a while, and I realize that the next time we play them, the same questions will come. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to them. 
we want to win tomorrow's game. Today's over. We want to win tomorrow. And that's as far as we look. And so we'll, we'll answer the questions if, they, if somebody asks and go on from there. But if we do the things correctly on the field, then we've got a chance to win. And it's the same in that other clubhouse over there. So um, every game presents new challenges, man. Matt, uh, Espinosa, I think he's had nine hits in the last six games. Uh, yeah. What have you seen from him at the plate? You know, he had two again today. Uh, you know, I, I, Danny, is. Uh, we've been working a lot. He's been working with Rick a lot. Um, he's spread out his stance just a little bit, which gives him a little bit better look at the ball. And he's becoming more and more comfortable. It was some time ago that he made some changes. He opened up a little bit to see the baseball a little bit better. He's gradually spread out a little bit to to allow him a, you know, a better chance to see it. Um, and, you know, I don't know, he had three bunt hits in the series. So that's a weapon for him that he's utilizing if it's given. Uh, staying on a fastball for the double down the line today. Um, you know, he, he lined out also in the series. So, I, I, you know, he's, he's seeing it good, which is good. Good for him. He works hard. Does Desmond need a he has yeah. Been, uh, yeah. Tired or yeah. Of course. Or... Yeah. Um, it's been a, you know, it's it's a, it was a long road trip, um, a very tough couple of games against the Astros, and then the all the, yeah, you know, the, all the, you know, the expectations of this series, and so you know, guys get mentally tired, and so yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I need today. Plan to give it to him during the road trip? Of course, yeah. We, we need to look long and hard about that, about Jason. Um, so yeah, that's. We'll spend a couple hours on the plane talking about that one tonight. It kind of gets overlooked most of the time, but like the series, you know, Stammen appeared three times. Yeah. You know, didn't allow anything. I mean, how valuable and, and versatile is he to the bullpen and kind of keeping it all together? Well, today, you know, again, with the, the, the status of the bullpen and trying to, if we can, stay away from guys, if, if, if at all possible, um, you know, he he's ready to pitch every day. And uh, he can step into those roles. He can step into the seventh inning role and, uh, and get your double play. He can work the into the sixth through the seventh like he did today. Um, he's very versatile in that regard. He doesn't take into account any inning in particular. You give him the ball, he goes and pitches. Man. Which is great. Yes. Uh, Fister was on the DL to start the season. Ramos got hurt in the seventh inning of the first game. You have literally never seen your team for one pitch. Yeah. What is it like to almost be able to see it on the horizon? I'm going to okay. knock, and I'm and I and I would respectfully decline to answer that question <laughs> if it's okay. Because I've been in baseball a long time, and I understand that. So, um, you know, it's uh, we, we got a long way to go. So we'll keep playing on. That's great.